Okay, guys, what's up? Welcome back. We're watching Sally Man's Club episode four. Um, last week's episode was so funny. Oh my god, MC drunk, Mikoso drunk <laughs> was absolutely hilarious. Like a whole other person came out. <laughs> I was so jokes, even though they really made that shit so funny. We had just before that when they were actually working on his proposal. I guess you could say it was it was good. I really enjoyed seeing them think it out and working on the project. And I think I saw a comment where someone said like they're glad that they didn't leave out the salary man part. And I agree with you. Like this is salary man's club for a reason. I like seeing the adult life that they're kind of like mixing with the sports and things like that. So. I'm really happy and I hope they continue to show both parts of it, you know what I mean? And um, at the end, they are going to a competition and we saw that his friend or his teammate from before, the one that he hurt, I guess you could say, is also on another team. And uh, so I guess he, cause he's playing, he's playing again, which is great. So now I don't know if it's still going to hurt MC. Like, I don't know if he's still going to be like, oh my God, like seeing you trauma. Uh, flashbacks or like if he's gonna be happy to see that he's playing again but then again he might never be able to play the way he used to like I don't really know how severe the injury was but yeah that's basically where we are so I am excited to see what comes of that so without further ado let's go So he introduced him? Oh, he introduced him. He does not speak. <laughs> Azuma. Tachibana Azuma. <laughs> so you'll come with me. Oh. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Duh, that's a lot of teams. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> he's really passionate about making the drink good. Is that why? Golden lines. Oh, that's them. It's a new year, honey. 
<laughs> oh god, that guy's voice, I can't. <laughs> They're going to the farm, right? For the onions. Wow. <laughs> oh wait the first one oh him <laughs> y'all so mean okay <laughs> That look, bro, enough with the food! That looks so good! Oh my god! I just had some like sunny side up eggs earlier with like s butter on slices of bread. <laughs> I am blessed, okay? I'm not complaining. That was great. It tasted honestly just fine. You know, sometimes! <laughs> this, this looks great! Mm-hmm. You know, what the hell? He's probably had enough of those, for real. Ooh, you could think about putting apples in it now. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Is he playing? Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Literally a throwback to what he did with that kid that one time. That's Anissa. <gasps> okay, I'm glad it's a proper relationship on the team. <gasps> <laughs> you were waiting for this moment. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe that's just. Oh, okay, sir. Shit. Why not? Is his elbow okay? So he had no idea after that, I guess. Is that the is that who I think's voice? <laughs> oh, dude! But that court seems hella small. Oh my! Jeez, he went. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh no. Is this bad for him? Is the other team cheering make him anxious? That reminds me of Haikyuu, there was something like that too, where they were like being super loud. <laughs> like, for real. <gasps> Aww, damn! He doesn't do good with the other team cheering? Or is it just too much noise for him? Oh, maybe he has stage fright.
Eesh. Oh my. We didn't know about this. What's up? Hundred percent success, babe. What are you talking about? It's got nothing to do with us. Bro, she is. Wait, was she actually maybe looking at the sign and then you, she made eye contact with you and then it became awkward? Hold on, wait, hold on. Oh no, my heart! Oh my god! Oh my god, was she looking at like one of your friends or was she just actually not looking at you? But then why would your friends think she was looking at you or into you? Like, oh no. Oh my god, you confessed in front of everyone. What did they start laughing? Oh my god, no, my heart, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, it was the friend? Oh. Oh, my heart. <laughs> Bro, that's his trauma. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that. Oh, this girl messed him up. This child live his adult salary man life homeboys traumatized. <laughs> Did you hear this guy? I didn't even You okay? <laughs> Dude He's not amused. Your aim was off. <laughs> oh, I saw the ab shot. I know he's been talking to his muscles this whole match. You crushed my muscles, man. <laughs> what? I guess he's saying it like it's a given that I'm good at playing and that I play. Not so much that he's like passionate. That's why he's like questioning the other guy, I guess. Because it's like, dude. The other guy loves badminton, that's why he's playing like that. I don't know. Oh my god, he has like the arm sleeves. I, I love those. I love those so much. I've said this before, like I'm obsessed with those. He looks so good. Why do they look really cool? <laughs> you guys are still friends, you know. I think you guys had a good relationship for the most part. Even if the surgery is successful. But he was then. Uh, I had a feeling. I'm like, it's probably gonna be like a grudge after that. But I don't know. I don't think he's that upset. Azuma. Oh my god, is he not even playing right now? Oh, dude. He might hate you for not coming to see him. I don't even think he's mad at you for the injury. I, mm, I bet he's mad at you for not having gone to see him. See, he's playing just fine. Yep, it's now or never, honey. Oh, so I guess his friend, does his friend even really know what's going on with him? I, 
Sheesh. Oh, he's probably pissed. He's like, how flipping dare you do this when you, after all this time. No, don't say that. Bro, is it just me? This show always feels like it ends really fast. Like each time it ends, I'm like, huh? Really? No, real talk. I don't think I don't think Azuma is upset with Mikoto necessarily for the injury. I'm sure he would have definitely the fact that they said he's never come see him. He has never come to see him after that. Imagine. I mean, you're probably gonna think that the person felt guilty, which is why they never came to see you, but then you'll never actually know if that's why, and then now you're just like, bro, he really never came to see me, and it's like, what the hell, he never came to see me. And it's like, dude, you injured me, and your dead ass never came to see me, and it's like, I have a few things to say to you, too. Like, just not... Azuma probably wasn't pissed like that. He was probably frustrated, yeah. Like, it just happened while playing a sport. And they were friends. So, yeah, in truth... Mikoto definitely should not have felt so reluctant to come see him after all that time. Um, and I guess Azuma's even more annoyed that after all that, instead of just continuing to play and being awesome, you're like not even moving forward. I guess that kind of frustrates him as well. And he's realizing that I guess if we never met, honestly, nothing bad would happen to either of us. I wouldn't have gotten injured. You wouldn't have been traumatized and then been at a been at a halt ever since then when playing badminton but like i said I, I there's something about azuma like i don't think he was angry or unreasonable i do think he was forgiving and understanding and i do think mikoto misread the whole thing and just kind of impulsively acted out of fear by avoiding him and whatever the case may be where azuma was probably just waiting for him like a lot of the time so that's unfortunate, that sucks, but I really hope for a healthy reconciliation between the two. Like, I actually want to see them become friends again, and to talk it out. As for the drink, I am so looking forward to what it becomes. I mean, it definitely doesn't sound like something I'd want to pick up off the shelf. But it seems like they can manage to make something for real. Like, he's going, he's experimenting the different types of onions where he can, where he can harvest them from, as well as, like, what he can maybe mix with it to make it smell better and to make the flavor work with it and things like that. Like, what he learned at their farm today, he learned another way to work with it in the onion. So it's just kind of like, it's cool. It's actually a cool idea. I wonder if they actually kind of have a drink like this. The show should definitely make it, promote it, and just sell it. Like, that would be so smart. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so good episode. I enjoyed it. It felt like it went by super fast for some reason. But yeah, so that's it. I'll leave it here. Leave how y'all feel in the comments or the forum, and I'll see you again in my next video. So thank you, and bye!